In this video, we are getting started with the InForever Super Filter. The InForever Super Filter supports multiple filter types. First, import the filter from the app source. Click on the ellipsis icon and select Get More Visuals. Now, search for InForever and click on InForever Super Filter. Next, add the filter to the report. Once the visual is added to the report, click OK. Now you can see Super Filter has been added to the report. Now, we will start exploring the filter types. Add Super Filter to the report and adjust the placement of the filter tile. The filter provides two data fields. One is Category and the other is Others. First, we start with Date Filters. We populate the Date column in the Category field. Change the hierarchy to Date. By default, the Date slider will show up in the filter. Now, with Quick Mode, we have multiple options for the Date Filter. We start with the date slider and select the axis scale option. When we move the slider, the report will be filtered. In the quick mode, we also have a no scale option. Now, we will see the calendar filter. First, we explore the date range calendar. In calendar view, the calendar controls will be enabled by default. We can go to the format pane and disable the calendar controls toggle. See how selecting the date range is filtering the report. We can also enable users to select multiple date ranges in the calendar view. In quick mode, we can select multiple ranges. We select the date range, click on the add plus icon and select another date range to filter the report accordingly. Let's explore the different calendar views. First, the month view. In month view, we can select a specific date or multiple dates to filter the report. Next, we will see the multi-year view in the period filter. In this view, users can select multiple months in different years to filter the report for the year-over-year -year analysis. To clear the selections, simply click on Clear. Now, we will see the year view under the period filter, which is similar to the multi-year view, with the only difference being that we can select months for a single year. Now, we will see the week view under the period filter. We can select different weeks to filter the report page based on a specific week or even the entire month for week-based analysis. These are the different calendar views supported by the super filter. Now, we will explore the relative date filter. We can simply filter the report based on specific date criteria. These are the different date filter types we explored in the super filter. Now, we will explore different categorical filter types in super filter. We add the filter to the report and adjust the height and width of the tile. Populate the category data field with two columns. For categorical filters, we have different types of filters. First, we select the checkbox view for the filter panel. Super filter also provides a cascade effect within the filter. Selection of the first category filters the values in the second category. Now, let's see the play axis, which filters the report sequentially by every value. First, we navigate to the Format pane and enable the Display Label toggle. Click on Play, and it starts filtering the report based on the category column values. Now, we will empty the Category Data field and add an Image URL column for the Sheiklet Slicer. In Quick Mode, select the Tile view. In the Format pane settings, under Display Settings, enable Image Data to show the images in the filter. In Facet Filter Settings, Increase the tile height for a better view. Now, you see the perfect Sheiklet slicer in the filter. Now, let's create the filter panel in the report. First, we will populate the category data field with more dimensions. For a space efficient view, navigate to the format pane and enable pop up mode, which saves space in the report to add extra insights. To filter the report, click on the filter icon, which shows a filter pane pop up. This helps eliminate the need for bookmarks in the report. Now, disable pop-up mode. Increase the height of the filter tile and empty the columns from the data fields. To explore mass filtering, populate the category data field with a reseller column. Select mass filter in the quick mode. It allows users to paste a list of values into the super filter tile for bulk filtering. Click the check mark icon to apply the filter. You can see the report is filtered based on the pasted values. Now, with a quick mode, we will select the text slicer. In the text slicer, the report is filtered based on the entered text value. For example, if we search for bike 
it will filter the report with resellers having bike in their names. These were the various facet filter types we just explored. Now, remove the reseller column and add the country column to the category data field. Let's explore measure filter. Populate the others data field with a DAX measure to display the details. In quick mode, under the hierarchy filter type, we select the view from the available options. We navigate to the format pane and enable the measure filter toggle. Now, we can dynamically filter the report based on the DAX measure by dragging the measure slider in the filter. We will now clear the filter and disable the measure filter toggle. For hierarchy filter, populate additional columns in the category data field to create the hierarchy filter. Let's remove the color column from the data field. In quick mode, we choose from the available options for the tree map filter. It represents the categories in a tree map view based on the total sales measure in the others data field. Click or drag on the tree map to filter the report. These were the hierarchy filter types in Super Filter. Next, to explore numeric and alphanumeric filters, we will empty the data fields. Next, for the numeric filter, we will populate a numeric column in the category data field. Enable the measure filter toggle in the format pane. Now, by dragging the numeric slider, the report is filtered based on the applied numeric range in the filter. To explore the alphanumeric filter, let's populate the category data field with a reseller ID column. The alphanumeric filter enables users to include and filter data containing both letters and numbers. This provides a flexible way to refine data selections based on alphanumeric fields. This was a quick guide to get started with the InForever Super Filter. To explore more filtering modes and capabilities of InForever Super Filter, refer to the official technical documentation. The link is available in the description. Download InForever Super Filter from Microsoft App Source to experience this magic. For more information, refer to the documentation provided in the description.